Welcome to the No Experience. I'm Cherie No. I live in South Korea and I've been asked a few times to give an apartment tour of a friend's house that we're staying at for a few months here in South Korea. So I want to take you on a tour. Let's go look. Now keep in mind, we just kind of moved in, so everything is still a little messy. But here's the front door in South Korea. We have these um, key locks on their door. We don't usually use actual keys, so you have to push this button to open the door. And you can get out. <laughs> I'm also going to notice the theme in South Korean apartments. There's wallpaper everywhere. I don't know why they prefer wallpaper over like just painting walls, but this one is actually kind of pretty. Um, here you have a huge area for your shoes by the front door. Um, this is here because in Korea we take our shoes off. There's always a little lip so the dirt doesn't get into the main part of the house. And my friends also have this little grate so that you can take your shoes off here and casually walk into the apartment. Here's some extra slippers. Here I am. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you. <laughs> So this first room, this is a four bedroom apartment. This is not really common in Korea. These are expensive. Um, I actually live in a very small apartment. I'll do an apartment tour of that one in a future video. Um, this is my husband's office. He's just setting up. Keep in mind, all the furniture in this apartment belongs to our friends. It's kind of just furnished and we brought a few of our own stuff in just to stay in. More <laughs> wallpaper. Um, so I don't want to show too much of my husband's office because this is all belongs to my friends. And I don't know what in here is my husband's and what's not, but they do have a little closet here. There's also the pretty door that goes to the um, outside, which you can close. And the mirror again, there's this office. So here is the living room. Again, more wallpaper. <laughs> um, my friend's furniture. And this is actually a really big um, living room area. Again, my actual apartment doesn't have a living room. It's too small. This is the air conditioning unit. This is very common in South Korea to have an air con conditioning unit. In these high-rise apartment buildings that I'm in right now, they often have these. This one's actually kind of old, but they are usually here. In my small apartment, I just have a small one that's right on the top of the ceiling, which is also common in Korea. Um, I will show you out here, there is a veranda. This verandas are common in Korea, but they are closed off. They have these glasses you can um, open for a screen, but it's not like in America where we have like a patio where we sit outside and enjoy the sunshine. That's not typical in Korea. The verandas are usually used for things like, again, these are my friend's plants, or for things like laundry and storage. In my apartment, it actually is so small, it only fits a washing machine and not a single thing else. Again, I'll show you in a future video. But this veranda is actually pretty big. And on this part of the veranda, you'll see it goes down and that is because there's a water hose so you can water your plants and get the floor wet and it's not a problem. Also, you will pretty much never see carpet in South Korea because the floors are heated. Um, so th these floors are completely heated when you want them on. Of course, it's really hot in Korea right now. It's the summer, so we're not doing that. <laughs> um, also, there's usually some kind of mat because these high-rise apartments, they're not very soundproof, and we are trying really hard to tiptoe around this apartment so we don't bother the neighbors downstairs um, because um, she actually came up here when we were kind of moving some stuff in because she heard the noise. <laughs> So we're trying to be respectful um, of the people below, but that's also why I think in America is a convenience that we have carpet because that helps to um, decrease some of the sound. So this is the first bathroom here in this apartment in Korea. Notice that the switches are on the outside of the walls, not on the inside. So if you come to Korea and you look to turn a light on in the bathroom, you better look here. <laughs> These are also wet bathrooms in Korea, meaning that they are tiled so all the water can go everywhere. They don't, this is um, not typical, not common in all apartments, especially the older buildings don't usually have these. Um, usually it's just one big room and with a shower head and you can just get water everywhere. Um, there is a drain so that the water can go everywhere. Um, this is kind of um, odd to me, just that the, the towel rack is right in front of the shower head. Um, but, you know, I guess you just got to be careful not to get your towels wet, I suppose. We've only been here in a, a few days, so we're still getting adjusted. Um, we do have a bidet toilet. This actually belongs to us. My husband brought it from our other house. I didn't know it was portable, but it is. 
There's also these little racks here right next to the toilet for putting some of your <laughs> accessories because it's next to the outlet, which I think is kind of cute. Um, but I will say something that's unique about this bathroom that I haven't seen before, and I've made the video about it on my TikTok, um, and I should do it on my Instagram, but there's this little towel rack right next to the toilet, and I'm, I'm not 100% sure why it's there, um, because it's... You can see it's pretty low, <laughs> and I mean, I, I don't really know why it's here, but um, you know, we've only been here a few days. Maybe the answer will come to us soon. <laughs> okay, so leaving that bathroom, let's turn the light off. We're going to come into my office. Um, if you guys didn't know, here in South Korea, I'm not an English teacher, but I do have um, two little children that I play tutor with, so I've got some fun games here. Um, that I bring and play activities with them um, once a week. Again, this is all my friend's furniture, but this is actually a really lovely room because take a look at the view of South Korea. It is gorgeous. Like, open. Look at that beautiful view. I mean, tell me that isn't stunning. I love it. And this apartment actually gets a really nice breeze because we're so high up. Uh, there's a nice lovely breeze that comes all the way through this room, straight through the apartment, which is great because I can't tolerate heat. I'm from Oregon originally, and I don't be tolerating that heat. I've got a little office area over there where um, I can do my TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, whatever I need to get done um, and prepare for my students. But in this also, this room has a closet, which is, again, in South Korea, built-in closets are not common. Um, usually it's more like European style where the rooms are just bare and you can use them however you want and you usually buy your own closets, like from Ikea or something like that. And yes, here in South Korea, we do have Ikea. <laughs> so, um, can't beat that, right? <laughs> okay. So we are gonna come over here. This is, um, I know high-rise apartments probably in New York and things like that have similar things like this, but I'm originally from Oregon and um, high-rise apartments are not particularly common in Oregon. But if someone downstairs wants to come into the building, I have a picture of them here and I can uh, let them in. So that's kind of nice. So here is the kitchen area. Um, my friends have kind of this little closet here where this shelf we're trying to figure out what to do with it still again we've only been in here a few days <laughs> uh they have a kitchen table here for us to use you can't live in south korea and not have a rice cooker ours is kind of old because they'd be expensive and we'd be broke but um i think he's cleaning it like i don't know why it looks like that right now and my viewers over on tiktok uh bought me this air fryer from costco here in korea and this has been Oh, I love this. Along with my slow cooker that a viewer purchased for me. Gosh, now that I think about it, they also purchased this for me <laughs> from the Amazon wish list. Which, uh, toasters are also not super pot common in Korea. It's not that they don't have them, but they're kind of spendy and, and toast is not like a major aspect of Korean food. Um, but I'm American and I really wanted some toast. However, you can't plug this in because this was from America. So we have an inverter that we have to actually bring from our other apartment that has the American plug in so that I don't fry this because the voltage in Korea is different than the voltage in America. So it's not just the plugins themselves that are different, but actual voltage. And I have ruined a crock pot that way. I didn't know it. <laughs> That's a whole other story. Um, here is our uh, water purifier. Listen, in South Korea, Korea actually has some of the cleanest water um, to drink. However, Koreans do not drink tap water, like ever. That's why you always see them with bottled water or, or filtered water. I'm not really sure if it's just because they don't, the, the pipes are old sometimes in these buildings and they don't taste very good or what, but um, we have this um, that we rent from a friend um, because my husband knows everyone in South Korea. <laughs> But um, so we can get hot and cold water out of that. Of course, you got to have a microwave again. This is my friend's. I have n my apartment in Korea, my actual apartment. We're just staying in this one for the summer because it's cooler and I have autoimmune diseases that make it intolerable for me in the heat. 
causes extreme pain. So my friend is letting us use her empty apartment that she wants to sell this apartment actually, but the housing market in South Korea right now is pretty poor when it comes to selling. Um, so she just said, come and stay in this apartment um, for the summer so that I can escape the uh, Daegu heat. Um, so this kitchen is so lovely and it's so nice and big. My kitchen is super small in my apartment, so I'm loving it. There's a little um, closet here. There's not much in it except for my Korean coffee because let me tell you, Korea makes the best, best instant coffee I've ever had. These are from America because I'd be trying to lose some weight. You can't be in South Korea without having a huge thing of rice. <laughs> Just wouldn't be right. Um, and of course we've got a older refrigerator. Um, we just got a newer refrigerator in our old apartment. Um, so it's kind of sad. I got to leave it behind, but there's not much food in here because again, we're kind of broke. We just moved into this place. So there's not much food in here right now, but you know, there will be at some point. My friends also did leave a lot of fish in here for us. Um, down here, there's a bunch of fish that she left. Wait, she left us. Is this ham? She left us hamburgers. Yes, that's a surprise gift. Oh my god, I'm gonna have some of that for dinner tonight. <laughs> anyway, and, uh, you guys also notice there's no oven. Um, I don't know if you spotted that, but in South Korea, ovens are also not common. Um, I'm not saying that they don't exist. I'm saying they're not common because you have to remember Korean food, you guys, is not something that needs to be baked. Um, traditionally, Korean food is things that are cooked on the stove uh, or grilled. So um, this is not, it's not here. I actually have a portable one in my old apartment that I'm deciding whether I'm gonna bring to this one or not. This one actually has a four uh, burner. Mine actually only has two because my apartment's small, but this is really nice. Again, there's also no dishwasher because dishwashers are not common in Korea. Again, it's not that they don't exist. A friend actually just gave me a portable one, which I am going to do a video for you guys. I have some videos and clips on my TikTok of it, but I will make one for YouTube. Um, I just, don't, I'm not sure exactly where to put it yet. <laughs> um, Cause it's about the size of this space, but anything is better than nothing because I am an American and I, I like my dishwasher. <laughs> This is actually a kimchi freezer. You might have seen this behind me. Um, it's empty right now because I don't know how to make kimchi and my friends took all their kimchi with them. They actually want to sell this, so we're going to try to help them sell this. Um, but right now I'm just using it as a table. But in South Korea, usually a lot of families will make their kimchi at one time of year and make it for the whole year. And so they have these kimchi freezers so you can have kimchi all year. Usually my husband and I have to buy our kimchi from the store or our friends give us some. Here's the laundry room. It's kind of messy. I don't really know if I exactly want to show you guys this room. Um, we're still figuring out how to put our recyclables because if you guys don't know, in South Korea, recycling is a huge ordeal and is not easy. Um, so uh, I don't know anything about that freezer back there because again, <laughs> it's not my stuff. Some uh, fermentation pots for things like uh, denjang, gochujang, things like that. Um, here is the... Um, I have no idea how to use this and it, this is really old. Mine and my other apartment's newer, so my husband will have to help show me how to use this one. But at least we have one. And of course we don't have dryers because again, dryers are not common in South Korea, but hanging your clothes up everywhere is common in South Korea. So, and the nice thing about this apartment is there again, I'm feeling a lovely breeze coming through here. So it will dry these clothes much faster, which is also super nice. Okay, let's come back into the third bedroom that is in this apartment. Also wanna show you, uh, again, wallpaper. Um, this apartment actually, I know my friends really say that they need to renovate it before they can sell it, um, which is why we're not in a huge like time crisis to leave the apartment. We're helping them prepare it. More wallpaper, my friend's furniture. This is kind of a room that my husband and I just use for like our clothes. Um, it's also not particularly uncommon for Koreans to use one of the, the bedrooms as a closet space. So you'll see these, these clothes racks, they'll just kind of be all over a room. Um, or you, they will buy armoires or cabinets for your clothes, which is what um, my friend has done in these rooms because these don't have built-in closets. 
you see here. Um, so yeah, this is just kind of our room to put some of our clothes. And then lastly is our bedroom. And again, furniture is all my friends, but I'm, I'm happy that it's here because um, I don't have to bring anything. There's a little place for me to do my makeup, which <laughs> in my, my apartment, I have no space to do my makeup. I kind of just do it wherever I can find a space. So it's really nice to have a dedicated location. And um, sometimes I get asked about what um, skincare I use. I don't really, I'm not great with skincare. I would love to get more. Um, I have this that I got from Amazon. I'm gonna some of this vitamin C that I got here in South Korea. Um, I do like Nature Republic um, because I have sensitive skin because I have lupus and a couple other autoimmunes and and things like um, eczema. And so I really like having um, different Nature Republic stuff because it's inexpensive and it's good for my sensitive skin. No sponsor. <laughs> just just letting you know. So I got a little bit of their chamomile um, toner. Some of my viewers sent me this stuff here. Um, anyway, <laughs> there's my Ryan I use for my back. Some more built um, bought cabinets for this bedroom. I would love to repaint these and um, spice th spice them up because um, you know I think they could use a little a little oomph. There's a little TV, and then there is a bathroom in this room. I will show you. So this bathroom does not have a bidet. A bidet. Um, this one I kind of use more often. I just took a shower just a little bit ago. Um, there is a bathtub in this apartment, which is also not common in South Korea. Um, these high-rise apartments, more of them do have a maybe a bathtub. Um, again, bathtubs are not super um, common in Korea. We have things like jinjibangs where people can go to saunas and things like that. So at home ones are not that common, but you guys, I, I, know, I know you can't particularly tell. This is really small. Let me see if I can get in. Okay, it still kind of went from my shower, but I want to show you this. You guys, I can barely squeeze my hips into this tiny space. Oh my God, this actually hurts. Uh, and I'm 5'8". I can't really, um, I can't really get in here. <laughs> but, you know what? I'm happy it's here anyway. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you guys like this house tour of my apartment that I'm staying at here in South Korea. Please do consider like and following and sharing the video. And if you want to see more about South Korea, let me know in the comments below. So until next time, you guys, Annyeong! Bye-bye! Thanks for being here.